Namaste, good morning. Namaste, Shamla Didi. Namaste, all. Welcome to the morning session. Ji, namaste, Sunil Ji. Sabhi ko namaste. Good morning. Welcome. Ji, we can start our sharing today. Ji, ji. Today we have uh, uh, two sharings. One is by Saumya Didi and then by Nirupam Singh Didi. Namaste. I will put your brief introduction. And since there are two sharings, you can uh, put your sharing within 20 minutes. Okay. So, Saumya Didi is an assistant professor in RNS Institute of Technology, Bangalore. She attended UHV introductory workshop in August 2023. And um, online, that is, that is online. And then offline, UHV introductory, UHV 2, she attended. Uh, UHP introductory in uh, September 2023 and UHP 2 in December 2023. And she's volunteering in various activities online and offline workshops, uh, Canada translation work, UHP cell coordination at college, and many more. So she's a very active volunteer of uh, UHP activities in the SWO region. So, with this brief introduction, I welcome Saumya Didi for uh, her sharing in the morning session. Didi, over to you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Namaste to all. Uh, my brief introduction, uh, Bhaiya has mentioned. Uh, I am Saumya. Uh, I am working as assistant professor in RNS Institute of Technology, Bangalore. I live with my husband, daughter, mother-in-law. My parents, grandfather, brother and sister's family also live in Bangalore. Uh, while doing the assignments and attending the morning session, uh, I felt that uh, if I am aware of myself all the time, if I am aware of my imagination all in the moments, then there is potential for the self to be in harmony and happiness always. Um, I am trying to be aware. I am trying to observe and understand each and every step from exercise one and two. I do not have the complete clarity of any step. While doing the exercises, I felt that being aware of our imagination at every moment is the most important step. That is step one of exercise one. Uh, coming to the exercise one, step one. By practicing being aware of my imagination every moment, I had a lot of thoughts with opposition feelings with respect to a lot of people. I can see that now it has reduced. The feeling of opposition behind those thoughts, it has reduced. I don't have few thoughts which I used to have most of the time throughout the day. Step two, the moments when I have the feeling that is not naturally acceptable, I feel those are the thoughts that I'm aware of or I'm, you know, concentrating on those thoughts. And because of those thoughts and the feeling behind those thoughts, I am not in a state of harmony. Who decides the feeling that you have at this moment? I am trying to uh, decide. I am feeling that it is me who is uh, deciding those feelings. Step five, on what basis do you, do you decide the feeling you have at this moment? I can see that it is more of assumption rather than basis of understanding. Which feelings are naturally acceptable to you? The feelings, I can see that feelings of relationship, harmony and coexistence but I am still yet to understand this and practice them at every moment. I am not able to have this feeling of relationship many times. Step seven, ensure that the feeling that you have at this moment is in line with the feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence. I can also see that I am still not able to understand that relationship harmony and coexistence in its completeness because in my day-to-day -day life 
when I am trying to interact with people, there are some thoughts which I have uh, opposition uh, feeling in those thoughts. And because of that op opposition feeling, I am not able to respond. I am not able to understand, have basic of right understanding and the feeling of relationship. I can see that I, you know, relations, feeling of relationship is uh, necessary, but I am not able to feel that when I am interacting with some people in the day. Going to the exercise two, step one. I am able to understand that I will be in the state of harmony and happiness at this moment when the feelings at this moment is in line with the feeling of relationship. I am not able to uh, follow it or practice it or validate it. I have the information now, but I am still yet to practice. In the last batch, I was not able to focus on exercise too. This time, I am trying to be aware and observe the interaction between the body and the self. I can see that I am the one who decides. I can try to understand that I am the one passing the instructions to the body. But when I am reading the sensations, sometimes I feel that I am the sensation. But I am trying to be aware that I am not the sensation. My interaction with the body or the outside world is by the way of sensation. I am trying to observe this step. I have still not started. I do not have clarity of this step. My interaction with the body or the world outside is the by, by the way of sensation. I read the sensation by decision, giving meaning to the sensation. My reaction or response depends on my sanskar. I am trying to understand what sanskar is and I am still yet to observe. I tend to react if my sanskar is based on assumption. Yes, my I am still in this state where I am sometimes reacting, sometimes responding and it is based on assumption. I am yet to understand sanskar and the sanskar based on understanding. I do not have clarity about exercise two. I am not able to yet understand that I am in coexistence in space and the body is in coexistence in space. For this, uh, one or two instances that I would like to take on a day-to-day -day basis, I can see that when I have these thoughts or imag content of imagination, which is having the feeling of opposition, I am not in a state of harmony. And if I am not in a state of harmony, I can see that I am reacting and I am not keep, uh, you know, being, keeping others around me also in harmony. One major thing I felt or I, I'm not sure, I would like to know if it is correct. I had a back issue this time when I was doing the morning batch. And I had a severe uh, body issue two years back. I could see that my reaction when it was two years back and what it is now has completely changed. I was on bed rest the last time for seven months and I was waiting when I would get out of those seven months, when the doctor, I was so frustrated. But this time I got the reports and all that. But despite all that, my feeling towards the body now has changed. Now I feel that, yeah, I have actually abused or misused my body and I should have the responsibility towards my body. And knowing that I have an issue, it has not kept me in disharmony like it was the last time. I am trying to be in harmony despite the issue that I have. So these are the things. This was a major thing that I felt. And while doing this exercise this time with this body pain, 
I felt that it's the self that decides and the self is the one that gives instruction to the body. I am yet to explore. So this is my understanding from step one, uh, exercise one and exercise two. Bhaiya, can we go to the... The fourth point, happiness is your innate nature and not the effect from outside. I can see that I still depend on happiness outside. Like I, you know, wait for my daughter. I look at my daughter doing something. I feel very good and I get that feeling of happiness. I can see that it is still from outside sometimes. How much of the program is for trying to get favorable effect from outside? I want the program to be completely on my own self, but it is not happening. I will work on it. And how much of the program is keeping the focus on self and keeping the focus on the body? I can see that now the program is more on the self and less on the body, but it is still there for both. For the program keeping the self in the focus, I still feel that it is more of preconditioning and sensation and very less which is based on natural acceptance. I want to work on the program so that the entire program for self is based on natural acceptance. And while doing this exercise, I am trying to understand what is natural acceptance and get clarity on natural acceptance. Commitment. I am trying to devote as much as time I can on developing right understanding and feeling. Towards social responsibility, I am trying to help myself. I am trying to help people around me. I am trying to, whatever little bit I can, I am trying to be a part of it. I am trying to uh, give, feel related to the plants that are growing, which I never used to even think of. Now I water. If I see some plant, at least I tell people, can you water it because of the problem that we have now in Bangalore? And I am trying to devote as much as time possible on this uh, uh, self-exploration. That is my commitment. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you, Sormeridi, for your short but uh, exemplified sharing. I know that uh, you are much, more, much, much more than this because I have been associated with you for the past uh, uh, six to eight months. I know your commitment. I know your dedication for the activities. I know how much you are doing in the college. Maybe I may not know, but much more than that. But I know your interaction with the students your uh, commitment in conducting the programs, division programs at your institution to develop that into an order center. So all these are uh, well appreciated for sure. And you also have been participating as a uh, co-facilitator or observer in a few of the face-to-face -face workshops. And uh, you also have uh, shared with me that your body ailments are now getting reduced due to observing yourself uh, in line with the USB proposals. So all these things are uh, evidences for me, rather what I am observing uh, uh, within you. Nice, Didi. So very nice. Please uh, continue your exploration. Shamla uh, Didi, uh, over to you for the your comments and remarks regarding of Swami Didi's uh, sharing. Ji. Namaste, Swami Ji. Namaste, Didi. Yeah. In this short time, I can see that uh, you have endured your, you endeared yourself to many of the participants. Uh, from all their sharings, we can see that. I think uh, it's been a very short span since you have uh, started with your UHB journey. And uh, to me, uh, from your sharing, I can see that you, know, you are not only exploring, but exploring in great depth, looking within in more detail. And I think to some extent, 
you are also under evaluating yourself. Because while, um, you know, we are all getting this information, ultimately, it needs to translate into our living. And from what I can see from, you know, what you have described, what you have uh, spoken of regarding your journey, I can see many things uh, which would, you know, would, seeing which people would, other participants would want to emulate. Like this factor about not letting your, um, you know, demeanor change with, say, problem in the body. Like just now what uh, Surya Kanji was also sharing and so many of the other participants have shared. Even the fact that in no time at all, you wanted to start volunteering activities despite, um, you know, having a small child, other responsibilities at home. So all of that, uh, it um, sort of brings to life your commitment to the exploration, your uh, commitment to your participation in society and I think those two the moment you see this combination uh, it speaks volumes for itself so um, though you have mentioned that you are not able to see any of the steps properly I think uh, to a large extent um, you know the exploration is going the clarity is increasing and um, like you yourself mentioned, many of the reactions are now changing to responses. Of course, if our expectation is that I should have awareness every moment, I should have, I should be responding every moment, then yes, then we might be disappointed. But if we look at from where we started, and where we have reached now, I think, you know, congratulations are very much in order that you are you know, progressing very well on your journey. And uh, of course, we expect you to continue with this journey and with the exploration and with the participation. I think you can be a source of inspiration to a large number of people. You have already done a lot of work in your college for you know, formation of the nodal center and so many other areas of your participation, translation work, so many other parts. This itself is very inspiring, very motivating for many of the other um, explorers. And so I see a great possibility um, in your uh, you know, future journey. So all the very best to you and regarding your um, some clarifications if you need. Of course, we are all always available. You can call anytime. We can discuss, um, you know, during the daytime also, anytime, anything that we can be of help as co-explorers. We'll try to do that. So all the very best in your future journey also. Best wishes. Thank you, Didi. I'll work on it. Didi, I have one question. I mean, one thing to share. Yes. Uh, while I had this problem, uh, you know, and uh, the reports were saying something, the X-ray was saying something, but I never felt it that way. And uh, when I shared that, you know, this is what, you know, the doctor has told me, there were people saying, oh my God, this must be so much of pain. This is so much that this. So I uh, noticed one thing. I, I, I shared this to Suril Bhaiya also. Uh, if the self is in disharmony, is there a possibility that, you know, we start concentrating on the pain on the body, Didi? Certainly. So I felt, Didi, there are some thoughts that, you know, uh, to be very honest, there were some thoughts or some opposition feeling that I had with people in college and there is some disturbance still in college that I can feel. 
and you know the moment those thoughts were there i could see that there was some pain in the body uh, so i just wanted to clarify because that was there that was a big thing and i i felt that you know the i am not feeling any pain as such you know i applied for leave now and after that you know i i feel pain but very less so this is one observation that i did when i was you know on rest so i felt it is like the self if it is in disharmony then it may be you know i am getting some pain and i am feeling something uh, in the body so i just wanted to confirm that see um when we feel fulfilled within i mean this is how i would see it when we feel fulfilled within our focus is uh, not on trying to get happiness from outside at any moment we will be able to see that but whenever at any moment i am disturbed within i am in conflict within i am not in my true nature this is uh, you know something that the, the need of the self for happiness is a continuous need so any moment that we are unfulfilled or any moment when we are disturbed in conflict unknowingly unconsciously we may start seeking happiness outside so um any source of unhappiness also may seem more prominent for us at that moment because we are already uncomfortable it's like even if you look at um you know in relationships so if you are calm comfortable within um uh, you may be able to have compassion for somebody who is shouting and screaming because you can see that they are disturbed but when we are in conflict when we are disturbed ourselves then there is no question of trying to see the disturbance in the other because we are so overwhelmed with our own disturbance and then if that person shouts we tend to react you may have noticed this in relationships also Yes, Didi. I can. Yes, Didi. Yes. Yeah. So this is, I mean, uh, true that uh, you know, whenever uh, if we understand why, it is because we have this need for happiness in continuity, and any moment that we are unhappy, we start looking for happiness outside. So anything, any cause of what we think disturbance to our happiness, that seems to get highlighted for us, and so many times we will see even you know. different people if it was the pain that was the problem um different people would have the same kind of reaction to pain but it is not so just like you said no the first time there was a issue with the body you were restless you wanted to come out of it you just you know it was more overwhelming but the second time around you mentioned that you were more calm not as disturbed so all this is a reflection of um more moments at peace within isn't it i mean to me i see it like that yes didi i i can see that because uh, even this time i i get pain i and I, i understood now that yeah i think you know i have not you know taken the responsibility and i have not understood it rightly and uh, maybe it really needs rest and i have to give it rest but the first time when i had this uh, health issue uh, i was i we i was like i don't know i too many negative thoughts like we would say you know everybody coming looking at me and telling you're so young you've got into this situation so every, when somebody would say something you know that would you know get into me and i would start feeling even more bad so now i could see that you know that uh, that sensation that we take from outside this time so many people told me that yeah i am also having the same back pain i am doing this go to this take this medicine so many people suggested a lot of things but i could see that you know i was not getting affected with that and you know those thoughts weren't you know coming to me and i was still uh, you know feeling uh, comfortable and telling yeah okay yeah okay this is 
could be a possibility and you know trying to understand what they are saying and work on my own self so that change that i saw what was there two years back so i can i could see that this time very nice in fact if we see you know whenever there is an issue with the body it is a great opportunity for exploration because there you can see you know how clearly you are able to see the difference between the self and the body when it comes to in living isn't it so um if we are impacted a whole lot by the disturbance that is there the disharmony in the body if if the body disharmony is becoming a cause for disharmony within us then we can see that our identification is more with the body but as our identification with the body becomes less as we see our responsibility towards the body we take charge and then we can see that you know my happiness can be from within body has a problem certainly the pain is an indicator that there is disharmony in the body so i need to take charge i need to see what needs to be done to bring the body to help bring the body back in harmony or at least aid the body and not try to disturb its functioning thank you tv thank you so much uh, shamla didi for this comments remarks and the response to uh, samya didi's question all these are helping all of us for sure 